Well, again, I think this is what makes it a show trial in that uh, these types of proceedings are meant to gather information to inform policy making. And from the questions uh, and the comments uh, that the uh, members of Congress made, you know, it was very clear there was no interest in gathering information or reaching a uh, any sort of reasonable conclusion. I think these people had already decided what they want to do. And this really was just a public opportunity, a really a shameful opportunity uh, to, uh, again, reveal this dark underside of, of the American political establishment. And this is the ironic thing in that I think that the government is in a very difficult situation in that uh, really what they're looking to do is criminalize and ban free speech. And ideologically, we all know that the U.S. Uh, identifies itself as uh, first and foremost, uh, one, a nation of laws, and two, uh, a nation that puts uh, First Amendment free speech rights as the top priority. So I think this will be tremendously damaging to the reputation of the United States on a more practical basis. Uh, many of the 150 million users of TikTok are young people, and this may uh, lose a generation of voters and supporters uh, for the party in power that decides to do this. And finally, uh, we all know that there are technological workarounds for any kind of ban of a, a social media app. So what I think the government may end up doing is not only alienating a large proportion of the young people in the United States, but also forcing them to break the law. And you know, I think that's uh, very unfortunate in addition uh, to this xenophobic and racist attack against a Chinese company.